So today I would like to talk a little bit about a um, ball and plate system. So um, basically what do we have we here? We have here a simulated tennis ball, this is this one, and we also have a simulated camera. And um, now we want to track the position of this ball um, and relative um, coordinates. So we want to determine the position of the ball in this plate um, coordinate system or in the plate origin frame. And yeah, uh, so yeah, so here you can see the camera picture. And now if we continue this, you and set this here to plate origin. Then you also can see here. So the green one. Oh, let me. So the green thing is, and um, this one is the observed position by the camera. So this is the position um, where the camera thinks the ball is. And um, this is the true position, the orange one. And the blue and the red circle here are the standard deviation. And what else can you see? You also can see uh, here. This is the ball tracking result. So here you see um, this is the position of the ball, um, millimeters in plate coordinates um, so this is the x direction of the plate this is the y direction the Aruco markers of the plate are used as you can see here to determine the um, plate origin so this yeah so a filter and determine the velocity of the ball and also the x and x y z of the body millimeters. So the setup if robot fight because this longer um original um yes and this now we will have a so here's the casino simulation and here you can see again the simulated camera and here we have a small GUI and what we can do with the small GUI we can um, basically um, control each joint of this robot so um, let me set joints yeah so this one um, yeah so Basically, um, this one is the first joint. We can set it. This one is the second joint. It is here, and then the third joint, and so on. You can basically set every joint. Yeah, and what you also can do is you can do inverse kinematics. So we want um, basically to set the yen factor of of this robot at x is the red line here. Um, 1 meter and 40 and 52 centimeters in Z direction so um, um, along the blue line here so here now we also can um, use a different position we can use this position for example now we have set 1 meter and 6 centimeters and X 1 meter and yeah well you can play around a little bit with these this is basically the end effect of pose and here you can set the um, oh this is not working it's too much um, this is the pose yes so these are the Euler angles of the end effector and and um, the algorithm not always finds a solution here so this is uh, quite critical um, to find always a solution for this and there are sometimes um, there exist um, multiple solutions and this is not so easy. So, but in this up position, um, you can really play around with these um, in some air uh, amount, right? And um, it is working. Now, what else we can do is local positioning control. So, um, in the local mode, you can basically um, set the alpha joint. This is um, the rotation. Oh, it's not possible. So. Uh, this is the rotation around alpha and this is the rotation around beta and just by these two um, rotations around alpha and beta 
we want to uh, control um, a, a ball lying on a plate and we use a, a state controller or we can use an LQR controller and we can set in here the control matrices just from MATLAB and here you can see the uh, simulated true ball and the detected ball and this is the arrow between these two so the arrow is below one centimeter which is quite nice but for the uh, control, control controlling now just the um, gazebo true ball position is used and you can basically do a jump here you can set this parameter so now I want to um, control the ball at x uh, 17 centimeters and we also can plot this here so first the ball as you have seen went in the in the opposite direction and then in the um, in this direction and yeah so that's because of this jump it goes first to minus uh, five centimeters and then goes to the 16 centimeters and here you can basically so the mu is the um, mean value between this black dot and this black dot and this is the standard deviation between this black dot and this black dot and you also can see the rise time so this is quite fast and it's a nice controller you also can use a different controller you can use a non-linear um, PID controller this one also works it's a little bit slower but it does not um, under um, swing so much and here, yeah, here you can um, set the desired position and here you also can set the um, PDMI parameters right this changes a little bit but not so much yeah we can play around with that and that's basically it what else you can plot here is the angle of the plate and this is the angle of the plate it is in degrees and here's the time you also can plot the position of the ball it is trembling a lot but just um, like in centimeters per second it's given here and also you can plot the torques um, yeah this is um, not Newton meters here you have to care I don't know anymore <laughs> but yeah these are the torques of the um, alpha and beta um, motors and that's it